Welcome to a very short tutorial on how to enable and especially configure an on-screen display using MSI Afterburner. When I first put my hands on MSI Afterburner, I was overwhelmed by all the buttons and sliders in it, especially since all I wanted was an on-screen display for utilization and temperature of both CPU and GPU plus an FPS counter. To save you from going through all the trouble I went through, I present to you the basics of getting an on-screen display. After you've downloaded and installed MSI Afterburner, for instance through the link in the description of this video, simply go to settings by clicking on the small gear button right here. The very first thing you want to go to is the on-screen display tab, pretty obvious. Here you have the option to set hotkeys for showing and hiding the on-screen display. Do that and then click apply. However, this option does not always seem to work for me, so I'll show you a second way to turn the on-screen display on and off. After you've set the hotkeys, go to the monitoring tab. Now comes the fun part. The on-screen display is already shown here in the Unigine Heaven benchmark scene that is playing in the background. If you don't know what the Unigine Heaven benchmark is, check the info cards. You can see here the GPU, the memory, the CPU, the RAM and the FPS are already shown. This obviously corresponds to active hardware monitoring graphs. So everything you select here by using the tick and putting it in OSD in the properties section will be shown in your on-screen display. So how do you do that? Let's say you also want the memory usage shown, you select it and then make sure this box is ticked. So if it is unticked, it will disappear. No megabytes shown here. If you tick it, click apply, you can see it appears again. If you want it fancy, you can select text, graph or both. If I select text and graph, you will see that this is a graph that is being associated with that. Obviously with the memory not much is happening, so think twice if you use the real estate on your monitor for that. So I simply select text. Let's say for instance you also want to group certain of those graphs. For instance GPU temperature, usage, memory usage, core clock, memory clock and fan speed. Simply select all of those by holding the control key and clicking left on each of the category. And then you have the option down here, override group name, GPU is already a pretty decent one, but if you in addition to those selected another CPU and maybe also the FPS category, you can simply name it OSD and then your name. Now I've configured the hotkeys, let's see if they work now. Of course they don't, so there's another option. Alongside MSI Afterburner, the Riva Tuner statistics server is being installed on your system. And you can see here on general properties, you can launch it with Windows and then you have the option to show the on-screen display that you just configured using the MSI Afterburner. You can select on and off. If you select off, you can see it disappears. If you select on, it appears again. So this is your fallback option in case your hotkeys don't work. So this is how you set up an on-screen display with MSI Afterburner in a nutshell. Like this video if you liked it and if it helped you. Subscribe to help us to help the channel and we'll see you in the next one.